Hello everybody, it's Naomi here. A bit share for you today. Uh, a lot of you know that I get the Crafters Companion monthly kit box and you get all these like envelopes which the stuff comes in. So I've been making little albums out of them. So I've done this one. Now this is where you may see a change in colour from on the pages because I didn't realise being colour blind but some of the papers are a completely the same shade but different tones or same tone different shade so when I'm using them so this mum pointed out to me but it, it doesn't really matter so this is the a little four by six one each one has card inside so that opens and I used um tonic craft perfect um, papers so and there's a pocket I'll put you down. I have to move it over. Come on, okay. That comes out. Each page has a has a what's it in the back? And I put hunky dory. Um, little book picture on the front, so that was just the four by six. Then, what's the matter with this camera? This is Snip Art, that was Hunky Dory picture, and I glittered it. And this background was from the monthly box kit from Crafters Companion peel off so and these two have apart from the front ones this has got a pocket here I haven't put all the doodads in there yet all the picture mats but this this one I think it's got an opening. Yeah. And this these pages, the in between pages have got an opening. And this was just made with the different size envelopes. I've got all these different sizes to make different And what you do you just take a I think I use five you just slip the end off and you glue the, the the flat bit of the envelope this is back you glue the flat bit of the envelope to I'm making the right hash of this to each other <laughs> so each one's got the flap and then you use the main flap the one at the front and you go right round to the back and glue it so I hope you can make sense of that I've made a right hash of explaining anyway that's so mum says there's a few in here that are different colours, but I can't tell. So there's, that's that. And then I made with this kit, 
Stamperia Circle of Life. I followed Shelley Gaggle's um, tutorial. You can find her on YouTube. And I made a folio for that had my pet photos in. This is Snip Art. And opens up. It's got all my pet photos in. I've actually filled it up. Oh, this stand, sorry. Let's see if I can get it lower. Can't get it all in shot, but I made paper mats explaining which cat was what what's this fluff and I put them in um, using clear photo corners that was fluffy and then This is our first cat. Oh, it's and got um, I've got three uh, D bits and used up my some of my peel offs. That was tatty. So that goes there. Then this opens. That's marmalade. <laughs> These were res rescue cats that we've rescued. That's his mum, Carla. Managed to get tons and tons of photos in here. I can't show you them all because you'll get bored. <laughs> this was squeaks. <laughs> This one is Tigger, he was the neighbour's cat. All the shops, he would go in all the shops and they gave him. He had to be rescued from a telegraph pole because he climbed up and got stuck. <laughs> This is this was the only cat we actually bought. The boss. So oh, in it. Now, as you can see, I've got tons and tons of photos in there. This is Tizzy. Where's her? Right. Oh, that's Tizzy. So this comes up. Carla, Coco. See, I've got loads of 
paper and um, picture mats. So if you want a, a, to make a nice folio for your pets, go to Shelley Geigel and follow her. Uh, that's the wrong way around. Follow her <laughs> tutorial. So that's that. I'm sorry I've got it in a litter again. <laughs> I hope you liked the, the um, project and uh, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time. Stay safe everybody.